How's it going friends? It is iVolt and today we're going to be basically talking about some spoilers for the last episode of Super and it's kind of sad because we're already here, it's the end and I know that we wish it wasn't but it's here, it's the ending for Super itself at least but I'm hoping that somewhere down the road there's going to be a continuation uh, after the movie or something along those lines because there's just no way that they're gonna end it here like come on just think logically It's it, it's made them so much money um, The video games are making them so much money. So why would it end here? You know, it just doesn't seem logical to me So I'm I, I know well at least I think that there's gonna be a series I, I firmly believe it myself obviously don't take what I'm saying here as a confirmation but Personally, myself, I do feel like there's going to be a continuation because, like I said, there's just no way there wouldn't be anything after this. Um, but the plot of what it would be, would it follow Goku? I don't know. Um, because Goku's that is literally um, at the pinnacle of his power. This is the strongest he could ever get. His Master Ultra Instinct, the ability to move without thinking. Uh, so, where he could go from there, I have no idea. But, basically, thanks to Herms, he posted this, and what it says is, It seems that the finalized title for the last episode of Dragon Ball Super is A Miraculous Conclusion, Farewell Goku. So, everyone's probably like, what? What's happening to Goku? I don't think anything's happening to Goku here, okay? Because it's the last episode, um, I just think that it just says Farewell Goku because we're saying farewell to Goku. Like, it's the end of the series, it's a farewell to Goku, you know? Because it is... This whole show, Dragon Ball itself, has always been about Goku. It started off in Dragon Ball, about Goku's adventures, and up to here, where his adventures seem to end. Um, but it turns out that Until We Meet Again is probably not a part of the title, as far as we know. I don't think it's going to be there. And for the whole miraculous conclusion, personally, I believe that Frieza probably like okay what I see happening here right I don't think it'd be fair if they basically concluded a winner like I don't think there's gonna be an outright winner in this fight because Goku and Jiren as we saw in the preview they were slugging it out man they were like just going back and forth uh, Jiren was dishing out Goku was taking the punches he was hitting back Jiren was taking it um, they're both incredibly like equal at this point I feel like they're gonna double lock out and one's gonna fall out before the other but then like even if that's the case I think that Goku might fall out first right but here's the kicker Goku falls out first during after and people start celebrating and then out of the rubble stands up Frieza as the last remaining fighter for universe 7 on the stage thus declaring universe 7 as the official winners of the tournament of power I literally think that's what's gonna happen and it makes sense as well because They've literally made case in point for Frieza to pop out and get knocked out and they're continuously pushing him to the side so we forget about him. Because if you remember, if Frieza was eliminated, he'd be up on the stage. Is he up there? No. He's not, so he's still in the actual stage itself. Um, he's still in, so anything from here really is a go. But honestly, I'm not ready. Because, like, how are they going to end it? Is it going to end at the Tournament of Power stage, or is it going to end with everyone coming back home? Um, people keep saying, oh yeah, Goku's about to become an angel. Like, no, bro, that's not how it works. Because the angels are a race. They're a race, you know? I, have you seen an angel there that didn't look like one of Whis's race or Grand Priest's race? No. Because they're all his children. He's the Grand Priest, and all of the angels of the Gods of Destruction they're all his children, right? And they are the attendants of the gods. And obviously the gods, they can be anything, any mortal or whatever. I don't know if they have to be born into being a god or something, but I don't think that's the case because Top was training to become one. So I don't know, I don't know about that, but what I can tell you is there's no way that Goku's gonna become an angel. It's just not, it's not his thing, bro. Like if you remember back in Dragon Ball, he was offered to be, basically he was offered to take the place of Kami to look over the world, but he didn't. He was just like, it's not for me, you know, he just wasn't for him, so why would he take this here? 
I mean, it's different if he had Beerus and like all the other gods like with their hands up at his face about to Hakai him, then he'd accept, obviously. But, or maybe he'd try to take them all on and obviously it would lead to his doom. But, he wouldn't become an angel. Like, I don't understand why people are saying, oh yeah, Goku about to become an angel and Vegeta about to become a god of destruction. Nah. All they care about is power and all they care about is who's the top fighter, okay? Vegeta doesn't want to be the last, okay? He doesn't want to be the second fiddle. So he always trains to make sure to keep up with Goku. I don't know how he's gonna catch up now though, because Goku mastered Ultra Instinct, and the only thing that Vegeta has is Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Evolution, which is a terrible name for a transformation. I don't know why they keep doing this. Like, in Dragon Ball Z, they made it a new miracle, okay? They made it like Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan Grade 1, Grade 2, whatever, Ultra Super Saiyan, all that stuff. So, so you have Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 2, Super Saiyan 3, GT obviously Super Saiyan 4, <coughs> not canon. Um, and now you've got Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Evolution. I thought they literally changed Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan to Super Saiyan Blue. Just because of how long and ridiculous the name was. So why would you go Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Evolution? Why not just be Super Saiyan Blue Evolution? Or like what I was thinking, Ascended Super Saiyan Blue. Does that not work fine? Like Ascended Super Saiyan Blue works better as a name than anything there. So I don't know why they made such a ridiculous naming scheme, honestly. Um, but back to the title at hand, because I don't want to stray away from that. Basically, you know how it says a miraculous conclusion, obviously it came out of nowhere. So like I said, it's going to be a double knockout, and it's going to look like Universe 7 is about to lose, and then Freeze is going to stand up out of the rubble, and he's going to do his laugh, and then he's going to be like, give me the wish fam, or... Maybe Freeze is gonna, like, as Jiren knocks Goku out because Goku runs out of energy. Um, I feel like Freeze is gonna pretty much either death beam. Nah, if he death beams Jiren, though, um, that's the end for him. I feel like Jiren's gonna be completely exhausted and Freeze is gonna knock him out and he's gonna be the victim. There's this is the only way to see it going unless Goku knocks Jiren out and Freeze gets Goku from behind, similar to how it was in Resurrection F. Or maybe. Goku might dodge it at the last second and be like, that ain't gonna work on me. Something along those lines. I honestly don't know. <clears throat> because, like, where would the Freeza even be? Like, they destroyed most of the arena. <laughs> Can you imagine if they... I'm pretty sure they destroyed everything apart from the place that uh, Freeza's at. <clears throat> but, um... I think that the fight keeps going until... Uh, the, the fight obviously concludes in episode 131, the last episode, so it's gonna go past the next one. Um, the conclusion is going to be miraculous, like it says. Uh, and then it's going to end, obviously, with a farewell to Goku. I really hope it doesn't end here, though, like, permanently. I hope it does continue on, um, under a different name or something similar to how, you know... <coughs> excuse me, it went from Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, GT obviously happened. Uh, obviously we got Kai, which is the better version of Z, I guess, like, more canonical. And, basically, it's literally without all the fillers and stuff and correct dialogues. And then you got Super taking place in between that 10 year gap between the, in the ending of... Well, basically between the defeat of Boo and end of Z. I hope if it does come back, just bro, just go past Z and completely obliterate GT, give us new plot points, bring back those destroyed universes, do something fun. Bring, like, look, there's so much they can do still, realistically. Um, at the worst, or if it even is at its worst, we could get a Dragon Ball Heroes anime or something along those lines. But the thing is, man, they could use utilize so much of that material that they've already set up in Heroes. Um, they could literally bring back the time... They could bring in the Time Breakers, bring in Bardock, they could bring in uh, the Demon Realm. That would be an interesting concept. Instead of defeating the Goku like f via fighting, they could all seal him away. And then you have an arc of them trying to you know, save Goku, and they're fighting all of these powerful demon gods, like Vegeta starts to master all trains to through that. that, that would work, you know? Um, you also have Goten and Trunks, you could involve them, Gohan already trained, so you could bring his ultimate form thing that he wanted to show off here, considering he didn't get it. Like, literally every Saiyan in the tournament got an amazing transformation, and Gohan was the one that was like, I'm gonna show off this 
well, he was like, I'm gonna achieve this ultimate never before seen transformation, and did he do it? Nope. Gohan got beamed. He got hosed down, bro. Um, which is a shame because we all expected more from his character. I mean, what what could you really do from his character though? Like in terms of super, like you could have given him a pretty dope form similar to Rage Trunks, but I guess they didn't want to. You could give him like a hybrid form between ultimate, uh, his ultimate form and Super Saiyan Blue. That would have been dope. But nope. <sighs> Anyways, I'm making this video way too long. The, the point is, the episode finalized title is A Miraculous Conclusion, Farewell Goku for Dragon Ball Super Episode 131. Uh, again, I hope Super comes back. Um, let me know what you guys think of my ideas though in the comment section. I'd really love to, I guess, discuss further upon this stuff or maybe make even a separate video on what I want to see in a sequel if it ever happens. Um, definitely want it to be after the ending of Z though. Because Oob's going to be there and, you know, there's going to be stuff with him that could happen. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. My name is Avold. If you're new to my channel, please do subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. We're on a hustle to 46,000 subscribers, so any new sub is really appreciated. Leave a rating below if you can, and I will see you guys later. Peace.